I'm back! I missed you! This is so much fun for me. I feel so glamorous. So, I have been going through some deep, deep, deep transformation and surrender. And as I surrender deeper and deeper, I feel this pull, this amazing, unstoppable force, this divine force pulling us together. Tell them about your dream. Wait, what? Your dream. Oh, okay. I've had, I had this dream uh, a little while back where uh, my twin and I were at the same place and, um, you know, I was, I was a little bit shy of, of, uh, allowing her to see me. You know, I just, I wasn't sure how she was going to react to seeing me and I didn't really want to, you know, uh, put her in, into a like awkward position. So, you know, I, um, uh, was really just kind of, uh, going about my life in, in my own way in this particular, uh, in this particular dream. And, um, there was a lot of, you know, releasing some, some old stuff throughout this dream. And, and I just, you know, wanted her to have her space and, and, uh, and me just, uh, give her that opportunity, uh, to do so. And I remember really wanting to present myself to her and, and really wanting to put myself uh, in front of her. Um, but I just had like this compassion that it wasn't, you know, it wasn't uh, a suitable time right in that moment to do so. So I kind of, you know, found a found, you know, some, some room within this dream and, and, uh, I sat down and I, and I just, I just recall like surrendering, surrendered, uh, the whole situation to, of what was going on. I was sitting in this chair and my twin came in, twin came in the room and she, she didn't say anything. And I was waiting for this reaction on of her to be like, what are you doing here? Like, you know, kind of uh, maybe freak out a little bit or, or uh, that me, see, me or her seeing me would, would trigger her in, a, in an enormous way. But that's not what happened. She sat on my lap and she put her head on my chest. And... That was it. Nothing was said. And you could feel that unbreakable bond and that, and just pure love. And that everything that occurred prior in the past during our separation was forgiven. And the only thing left was love. Deep inner transformation and when i went and spoke to the divine and channeled the message that was meant for me through this dream it confirmed what i had taken away from it and that was love heals everything and love is the only thing that's real. And the rest of it is just nonsense. It's just noise. Love is all you truly need. Love is all you truly are at your core. There is only love. Only love exists. And when you forgive and you have unconditional love, in the present moment, that's all you need. 
That's all you need to heal all of these wounds, these core wounds that are keeping you in separation, keeping you from union. There is a tremendous amount of peace that you can find from letting this go, letting these things go, letting the past go, just forgiving all of it. Why keep yourself chained to anything that's happened beforehand? All that does is keep you down here. Union is up here. Union, you, you both come together. You rise together to that place. That place of extreme peace. Love. And so I see like a lot of times where People are, are, are afraid. You know, they're, you have uh, uh, this life, your friends and family and uh, maybe your job and certain, you know, different things, material things, material items, and, and you hold on to these things. And it keeps you from rising. You know, the, the, the tighter that you hold on to, to a lot of these things, the more it keeps you from expanding and growing. And as you start to let go, you rise and rise and rise. And the point here is that maybe you think that you need these things because they're safe. But if you let go, and some of these people come with you, that's great. That's un you're unattached to the outcome of what is, what is going to happen by letting go. More things can come into your life. Greater things. Divine things. Things that were, that were planned for you to have. As long as you just let go of what used to serve you. Because those things don't serve you anymore. And as you let go of them, new things will come into your life that serve you better. Because only love is real. And all of these things that you're holding grievances on or, or, or holding on to are keeping you where you are. Instead of allowing you to fly free. So you choose to surrender and you choose to let go of these things in order to rise to the top. In order to meet your twin in union. Because it's for you. Because it serves you. Because that's, this is your life. You can continue to tell yourself the story of not going to happen, or not good enough, or eh, eh, I'm going to just be whiny. But none of those things really serve that desire in your heart for, for love and what, and what you really want. So you let them go. You know, you choose to free yourself from, the, from these things. You choose for yourself. You choose what you want. You choose what, whether to follow your desire or not to. You choose to hold on to what's in the past instead of allowing yourself the freedom to grow into what will become. I'm so happy. I'm just going to start singing. Please do not do that. Why not? So write your own book of love. Start to write your own reality of love. And go down to the description box. Uh, visit my website. See how I can help you. There's, there's a lot of content, a lot of tools there to assist you into union. And 
I'll see you all next time.